Tell strangers you're from Columbus, Georgia, and see if they know the name from the Columbus Stockade Blues, the song that locks the words Columbus and Georgia together like a jail door. Way down in the Columbus Stockade, friends for more than a century have turned their backs on freedom, sometimes for months, sometimes only weekends. The city's jail over the years has been a place where the regulars got to know each other. Today the jail made famous by the song still holds people convicted of petty offenses and sentenced to short time, or to what we today call public service. Today it serves essentially the same purpose as a century ago. City chain gang it's marked on a 1907 map, when the stockade complex still had two separate brick buildings, later to be joined by an extension. Today the eastern side of the conjoined buildings at 622 Tenth Street holds 10 to 15 prisoners during the week and about 20 more on weekends, when those sentenced to public service come in at 6 p.m. Friday and leave at 3.30 p.m. Sunday. The trustees daily go out on work details, cleaning public buildings and picking up trash, just as inmates did decades ago. The Columbus Stockade has outlived two younger jails, once served as the city's police headquarters and more recently been a fallback when the county jail got overcrowded. The city reopened and renovated it to relieve jail overcrowding in 1981. Before that rebirth, the stockade had been idle for 10 years. It was closed January 3, 1972, having been condemned as a fire trap. In newspaper reports of its closing, inmates lamented the loss of a place to which some regularly had returned if only to dry out from a drinking binge, clean up, and get a meal. Like I said, I've been around 32 years, and we used to have some, I reckon you call them town drunk, the Otis's. Uh, I'm sure they did. Yeah. Uh, and you know, they were, you know, good old guys. You know, you knew them by first name, see them on the street, talk to them, but they, they were just like Otis and Mayberry. And uh, you know, all of them's gone to the hereafter. The stockade was made solely a jail in 1906, after serving since 1895 as the city's police headquarters. It is in the years prior to the stockade's becoming the city police barracks that its history becomes indistinct, shadowed by time. Its exact age is unknown. Until 1978, it got no prominent mention in Columbus history books. It's now recognized as a significant historic structure but no one cared much about it until the Columbus Stockade Blues became a folk music standard. The building gave the song a focal point. The song, in return, gave people a reason to care about the building. You see the peak of the roof right there, this part. That's oh, where okay. the showers are now, right? Right. Well, that was added on right there. Having over the years held poor blacks and whites, women and men, the drunk and disorderly and others convicted of petty crimes, the stockade long was unworthy of mention in the histories of the prominent and political. The history of the rich and powerful is written in books, the history of commoners in song. Oh, uh -huh.